Hi everyone, in this uh, tutorial, we're going to look at NECO data processing practical. Okay, in uh, NECO uh, practical for data processing, you are always giving three questions, and the three questions covers word processing, graphics, and data processing. So for this uh, class, I'm going to do the uh, one on data process, which covers MS assets. So we have a task before us. Let's just quickly read through the questions of the task before us. So this is what they asked us to do. They said that use MS assets to perform the task before. So we have employer ID. We have their last name, first name, home address nest of key and have all of this here so let us quickly run through what they ask us to do with this so we have to do this so we have, this is what they ask us to do reproduce the table above use font size 12 and style times new romance throughout your row in the first name Colon, replace Kunle, Susan, Audu, Olajumoke, and Michael with any name of your choice. Type your surname in the last name. For applying ID, you're going to use 001 to 010. Then key in your home address in the home address column. Type any 10 names of your relative in the next of King column. Then we have to use last key orientation to print a hard copy in MS access. Then the last one is to export your finished work to a test file and print also. Okay, so let's see. So these are what we are to do. So now let me uh, give you a guide on how to help open MS as uh, access if you don't have it pinned on your tax bar. So you go to the you can either go to the start button or if you if you have a, the search button here, just Tap on the search button and search and click on access, just like access. So in time access, it will appear here or here, just then click on it. When you click on it, I like you to come up. Okay, close this. I like to come up and click on a blank database. So when you click on a blank database, type the name of the blank database that you want to put in. You can put whatever name you want to. Okay, so let me put your signs here. So that will be the name I want to use, use signs. And I'll click on create. So after creating, then the data that we ask us to, you are asked to enter, you have to enter them here. So you can either click on this as by starting from, you can just click on this view here, click on this view, then go to design. So you see there is a table there, enter the name of that table. So let me call that table view. Okay, let me just call the view or task. Whatever you want to call it, just call it the name and put it there. So you have your field, your field here, and the data type here and description. This one is optional. So on the data type, the first data type we have to put there is the employer ID. So how to remove uh, this and type employer ID. ID so that's an employer ID. The employer ID let me show you what it consists of. It consists of numbers. So this is what it is number. So the numbers are not autom automated. If they are automated, it's going to start from one to without the zeros at the bar. So this is what you are going to do. So you just come to access again. Okay. So you go to the type of the type of number the data type, change it from click on it, and you see this button here, click on it. You change it from auto number to either short or long test. I think a short test will be okay for us because we are numbering it from zero to um, zero one to o one zero. So we we'll take a short test. So we have created the data type for that. You can come to this place to uh, take your or match the test. So let's see. On general, click on there because of the test align. The test align is centralized. So click on there. There are this button here comes so click on. And click on center. Okay. Now you can come to this place to add another field. 
The next field is last name. Okay, let's toggle between these. So the next field is last name. You come to this place and then you type in last name. Okay, you type in last name. This should take test. It could be short test. So, but let's make that long test. That would be better. So, take it long test. And uh, I think we'll leave the test, the align for to be general. So, that's okay. Then go to the next field type here. Okay, then let's go to this field here. The next field is first name. So, type that here again. So, go to access and click on this. So, you type, you type first name. Okay, so give it long test also. Okay. Because that can occupy any of that. Then the next is phone address. So come to this place. Home address rather. So you have home. Address. Okay, so you give it long test. Click on this and give it uh, a long test. So we leave the uh, test aligned to general also. The next is next or king. That's the last field or attribute. Okay, so when you are done with this, so you give it the type of long test. Now, if it involves a phone number, you can put a short test. If it, you can, there are other test fields. There are different type of test fields that you can click from. Numbers that you can add together. There are date fields. There are also a lookup wizard. But on this, we don't have a lookup wizard. So we leave it. A lookup wizard gives you an opportunity to choose between items. You just list the items and then when you want to edit, you can just pick from them. So after that, just come back to this again. Then go back to data sheet view. You, you, you must have to save this table so let's save the table yes okay so these are our feet so on our id our id starts from 001 to 010 so what i'm going to do is this i'll just go back to this so i'm going to enter 001 then come to this you enter 002 Okay, 003, 004, 005, you can use the down arrow key to go move down, 006, use the down arrow key, 007, 008, 009, and 010. Now you can see that the test aligned are centralized because that is what I choose from the design view. Okay, so the next one is name. Now you are asked to put a name. They put any uh, your surname. You are putting your surname for all of them. Just put a surname there. So this is going to be very easy. So what you're going to do is you type your surname, whatever you want to put there. Let me use Sunday. That's not my surname anyway. So I'm just I'm going to align that. Control C and copy it and just come to this place and paste. So I'm pasting it all through Control V, Control V. So that will make my work to be very fast. Because that's the sun you are including. They said you should use the same sun name. That's what they said in the question. Okay, let's go through it if that's true. So we have to use. In the first uh, okay in the first name you have to replace this okay in the last name type your son name in the last name so that's what they said so we are using your son name one name throughout for that so my I'm assuming my son name is Sunday so just copy and paste copy and paste okay now for the sake of so there are some names that are here the names are Baba Shola Kumbe so because of this, for the sake of this I'll just type names just type some words there. So you know that you are going to type the normal names that you are asked to type. Like for example, you are going to type Abashola, but when it gets to Kumbe, 
So you are going to type Babasola, but you will, you will change Kule to another name. Type Agurama. So let's look at the name they ask us to change from this place. You have to change, uh, replace Kunle, Susan, Aldo, Olajun, okay, Michael with any other name. So it therefore means that you have to type the other names normally, but I'm not going to type that just to save time. So I'll just type any or any names there. Okay. So I'll just type any letters there to represent the name. If I let me just type this and copy it. So we press shift and arrow key back and copy to control C. I'm just copying them there in control V. Control V. Control V. Control V. So use your down arrow to copy and paste. Control V. Control V. Then the same for your home address. Put your any home address there. I'll just copy and paste this one there. Use your down arrow key. Control V. Okay, the essence of this is to make the work to be very fast. Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. Remember, you're not doing Control V for the, your exam. You are typing the names there and the one they ask you to remove. So, next of key, I'll do the same thing. Control V, Control V. These are just to fill all of this. Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. Control V, Control V. Okay, that's the last one. Now, the next thing we have to do, let's look at the next question. You see that I omitted something from the beginning. We were asked to use font size 12 and style times new Roma. So, throughout your work. So, what I'm going to do is this. I'll go back again. Since I'm done with it, I'll just go back and select all of them. Okay? When I select all of them, this is my formatting file. Uh, Formatting bar menu. So I'll go to this place, just delete this and type T I N. So type the number and then hit the enter key. So I've changed the uh, font style to times new Roman. Then to change the size, you can tap on this and just delete this plus to press to and hit enter. So that is how I have done that. So I've completed the formatting of this. So let's go back to the question again and see the next thing they ask us to do. Next, okay. We have replaced this, we have done this. We have to key in our home address. So the next is to the same we should use landscape orientation to print the hard copy in MSO. So we are almost there. So let's go back to the MS window. So just come to this place to print. You come to this place. This is your file menu here. Okay, this is file here. Click on it and click on print. Okay, when you uh, Click on print, you can preview what you want to uh, print here. Okay, so from there you see what you want to print, then come to this place and change it to landscape. Okay, this is now landscape. Look at it, this is portrait, and this is what landscape. Then you come to this place and click on print. So you see that you now click the type of click on this place and click the printer that is installed in me. I don't have a printer installed, so I'm going to convert it to word format. So I click OK. Okay, so I'm, I'm saving it here, my project, but you are supposed to have printed that if you have a printer. Okay, so I'm done with that. I can close my print and preview screen. Okay, now the last part, the last part of the question is to use Glance, okay, export your file to work test file and print also again. Okay, so so we are supposed to print this and print there. So let us go back to our Excel and convert it to one uh, format. So this is what you're going to do. Click on external data data. So let's see. So you click on test file. Okay. Then you click on okay. You click on next. Now, here yeah, it's going to show you what, what you are going to use to separate your what you have uh, type. What delimiter separates your feet? Select the appropriate one. So here you see that it is in comma. That's why you are separated with comma. If it is star, you have this. If it is semicolon, you are going to have this. But I think if you have comma, you have this. If you have space, this is what you are going to have. Whatever you want. In orders, you can now put whatever you want to have there. So let's say. Okay. Let's say forward slash. You can use forward slash to uh, separate. Okay, so I will use space. 
to separate mine you know they click on next and then click on finished okay so click on close now you have to print that because you are asked to print that so you come to this place you come to your files here so you can see that at my job you just type for that search for that uh so i said it out with you so this is it here remember what the name is showed there so just tap on any of this here then tap the name the first letter I used to say it's going to take you to that point so you see it is you here now you can see the same the one i said as pdf so this is one that you so just tap on it like this and you click on file again then you click on what print okay now i do not have on my printer so you, if you have a printer you can select it from your box i'm going to convert it to a uh, pdf again so i click on print so i'm going to save it with you okay so okay you and i'll click on see that will have been print so that's all that's the simple uh, procedure you are going to take when creating an ms access feed in neco is a very short and what simple all right thank you for watching do not forget to hit the subscribe button to follow us for more of this on your practical exam including physics mathematics further chemistry and data processing